What's up guys, Tyler Casey here, and today I'm gonna walk you through on how to use our Glow Effects Pack. I'm gonna be doing this in Premiere Pro today. If you guys have Final Cut or DaVinci Resolve or Sony Vegas or any other editor, you can kind of follow along. It's pretty simple. The new Glow FX2 pack is all hand animated. They have a little bit more of a drawing feel to them and they're super dynamic and great to use in your videos. Super simple, super easy. I'm gonna hop into Premiere and show you guys how it's done. So once you guys buy the full pack and have it downloaded, this is what it's gonna come with. In the future, there's also gonna be a little folder right here for the updates. We are gonna be updating this pack for free. So you should get an email. I'm gonna post it on YouTube when we update the packs as well you're gonna get an email for a download and it's gonna include the new updates to the pack. These are gonna be things that you guys personally request us to add to the pack. So we wanna collaborate with you guys and we wanna give you things that you guys want in the packs. So this is everything that comes in the pack. This is the link to the tutorials. That's probably how you got here. So I'm actually just gonna drag all this stuff right into Adobe Premiere. So if you guys are on Final Cut, Sony Vegas, any other editor, you do not have to import this into like your effects panel or anything like that. You just import it as regular footage. We get this question a lot. We get this question a lot and these are just like, think of them as like video clips that you overlay on top of your other video clips. It's like that, it's not, these aren't something you have to import and then you just drag them over your footage. Let's just grab something real quick. Let's grab a transition. So we have this transition right here play it through we have that light beam i'm gonna have to scale this to frame size because uh andy shot in some weird 4k mode and then what we do is we just change the blending mode on under opacity to screen play that through it didn't change it to screen i changed the bottom one to screen there we go play it through and boom transition obviously we cut between other clips that's how you apply a glow effects i'm really just going to walk you through on how i created some of the effects that i did in that actual uh promo video if you guys haven't seen that make sure to check it out i'm going to link it down there below maybe even in the con comments as well uh these are really simple to use they're really easy to use you get some really cool looking effects for not that much work i'm going to start with this clip so usually when i edit these kind of things i kind of watch the clip and think of like what would be cool to put on this actual effect. So here's a cool little clip right here. He's going crazy. Um, let's start off. Let me watch this through. Let's do, it kind of looks like he does something like circular right there. So let's go through in the accents. Let me organize these by name. And we'll come over to accents. Here's all our effects right here. So I think I'm gonna go with this spinner right here. And I'm gonna come over to screen. There we go. And so we just need to time it. Where does he do that little thing at? Right there, it already almost looks perfect. Look at that. I didn't even plan that. So let's actually start it a little later. So he's like there. And we can actually speed it up. So I just pressed R right here, rate stretch tool. And boom, so we can just, every time you wanna animate these, just make sure you check position, scale, and rotate. And you just click motion right here, and then you're actually able to move them. So we can move through the keyframes. I click right here, I'm using my arrow keys. That looks good right there. We can like center it a little bit, center it, keep it connected to his hands. We can actually scale it down just a tad bit. And boom. So we can see right here that it kind of goes to his elbows. So I would actually like to kind of play off that. So we see it goes right about there. I can actually probably line that up a little bit better on the edges of his elbows. We can even rotate it right here if we want. And yeah, so now let's try and do something like up his elbows. Let's go to, um, let's go to these wraps. So the wraps, what they do is they basically wrap around your object. Um, and the cool thing about this, there's a few different versions. So there's the long version, which is a little bit longer. These are the short, the real quick little wraps. And then these are the wide. So if you wanted it to go real wide around something like maybe someone's body, someone's head, uh, maybe a large object, you can definitely do that with the wide version. So I kind of like these curvy ones. I feel like they kind of match the um, for this type of look. Uh, there's a few different ones. There's these like hoop energies. These are good to go up people's legs. These are good to wrap around people's like necks and arms. Um, yeah, there's just the more simple like ring and loop. 
I'm actually gonna I forgot to I'm gonna walk through everything in here for you guys So we have these beams right here. These are pretty cool. You can just like wipe those across the screen We have a shine uh, Smoke blast. So these are all the accents. These are things that are gonna accent your scene uh, Like little foot stomps and stuff like that here. We have explosions. Those are pretty self-explanatory um, They're just explosions Impacts these are things like uh, things hitting things like uh, stomps Punches sparks all sorts of stuff like that. We got this cool little zap Where's that? Cool Then we have objects. We have like bats bat transition uh, Demon face all this stuff. We didn't want to put too many objects We really wanted to focus on like the body movements and stuff like that because I think that's the stuff that really sells it So if you're looking for a bunch more objects, maybe check out glow effects one as well uh, the skeleton I'm gonna show you guys how to do this I got a lot of questions about that we have a few different angles we have like the front facing skeleton and the side um, and then we have all the body parts so you can actually line these up and the cool thing about these let's play this skull is it that it flickers it almost looks like it's being x-rayed uh, we have a few transitions in here for you uh, these just like wipe across the screen and whatnot that one's pretty sick um, yeah and you just overlay those on it helps you get to the next scene this isn't really a transition pack though. We kind of just want to throw those in there for you guys. So I think I'm going to start, I think I'm going to start with the short right here. So I'm going to drag that on. Let's check that out. Let's change that over to screen. Sweet. Let's find the very last clip. And let's say we like the way yellow looked or maybe we like the way green looked. So I'm going to show you guys how to match that as well. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click all three of these. And we're gonna make it look like it's going up his elbow So there it is right there and Click position right there and it's actually a good idea to lock the bottom clip because you don't want to accidentally go like this and Drag it. That's not fun So now what we can do is we can now that that's locked we can move through and what we want to do is we really just want to make it look like it's rotating around his arm and you might think it looks stupid while you're doing it, but it doesn't. <laughs> but it doesn't look stupid. Um, it'll look good once you play it through. And that's the thing with this pack. Like, you might spend a lot of time doing something and it might not look that cool. And then sometimes you do something really quick and it looks really good. So this is these wraps are some of my favorites. We definitely wanted to include these in there for you guys. Play that through. Look at that. It goes through his hand. Uh, I think I want it coming the other way as well. So what I'm going to do to do that is I'm actually going to duplicate that, hold alter option or redrag it in. And I'm going to delete all these keyframes. Get out of here. And I'm going to come over to effects. So we want this one moving right to left because it's going to be on this uh, right elbow. So one thing I always like to have typed in in effects is just the word flip. So we have horizontal and we have vertical. For this, we're gonna want horizontal. And now we play that through, that one's gonna come the opposite way. If you want, it could also start the start vertical as well. So it's coming, this one comes on the bottom, this one comes on the top. Let's do that so it looks a little bit different. I'm down with that. Um, and same thing, we have all these checked, super easy. And we're just gonna, I'm gonna scale it down just a little bit. I probably should have did that on the other one. That one's pretty big. And we're just going to make it look like it's wrapping up his arm. We can kind of use the other one as reference. That one does look a little bit bigger, but it's so fast. You're not even really going to know. It's looking super cool. Going up to his hand. It's disappearing. Boom. Play that through. All right. So Tyler, that one's yellow, but those are green. I want them all green. Easy. This has been in multiple Cinepack tutorials. If you guys don't know this by now, and you watch my Cinepack tutorials, you're doing something wrong. But if this is your first tutorial, um, there you go. You type in color balance HLS, you change the hue a little bit to 57, and you're all set. Look at that. Looks the exact same color green. So let's do something cool right here. His hand is in right there, so let's, let's go with Let's grab like these little curves right here and let's make those move across his arm and I'm going to teach you guys a little bit of just simple masking. So same thing, motion, scale, position, rotation, all that good stuff. It's going to start at his elbow. 
Make sure we're at the first frame. Start at his elbow. Let's delete those other keyframes. And we're just gonna move through. We're gonna move up his hand. Gonna move. And we're just gonna keep moving to the front of his hand towards the end. And we'll just make him shoot out. Why not? Cool. Play that through. That looks cool, but it doesn't really sell the effect. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna make a little cut right here. And we're gonna duplicate this up. Duplicate that up. Cool. And we can actually just turn it off. So what I like to do is I like to find right where it would be under his hand. And then I'm gonna just draw. I can actually full screen right here. Um, this is super like, this is super rough, but you can actually really do this in Premiere. It doesn't really matter. If you wanna get more technical, you can go into After Effects, but the whole point of our pack is so that you don't have to go to After Effects. So just make sure you select Mask Path right there. And then we're just gonna move we can actually turn that on so we can see it disappear. And we're just gonna track his hand a little bit. Um, and look at that, it's already out. So I would just trim it. I like to just have it nice and clean. So it's about clear right there. So I'm gonna delete the mask right there. And then where's the mask start? I'm gonna start the mask probably right about there. And then you can always play around with the feathering. You can play around with the uh, expansion and see what looks the best. So look, I'll show you what those do. So you look at that, we kind of have this ugly, weird line. So let's play with the expansion. Like, look, that's no feathering. We get a really hard line and we see where it starts and stops. So we can actually do a little more feathering and we can actually push the expansion a little bit because we saw it start going into his hand. And it's also really quick as well. So, I mean, that looks pretty good right there. We're just moving frame by frame, goes under his hand. We could actually cut into his thumb a little bit so we can actually just click that mask and we could just drag out his thumb just a tad bit and then play that through boom look at that disappears through his hand wham super easy so that's masking that's gonna help sell the effect a lot more um, you don't have to do that that often. I, even in the promo, I only found myself doing it like a handful of times. It is time consuming, but it's also really helps sell your effect and makes your video look, it makes it look like you did these animations by hand. Whereas if you were doing these by hand, you would literally be drawing these frame by frame. Whereas like, how many frames do we actually put in this? Like we put like two keyframes in this, not that much work. So first I wanna start out, uh, the way I did it in the promo is I kinda of had it go. You guys can do this however you like. I'm just kinda of playing around with it um, the way that I like it. The cool thing about this pack is you can create tons of things and do all sorts of different ways. So his head is facing us right here. So I'm gonna start off with that, the skull. Um, and I'm just gonna change that to screen, click all three of my buttons. And let's find out where this head starts. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to scale that down and I'm going to rotate it because its head is a little bit cocked right there. So see it moves right there. So I can actually just delete that first keyframe. He kind of pops up a little bit. Um, comes down. He's kind of rotating a little bit. You kind of just have to play with it, see what looks good. It's actually not looking at the camera that well. So... This might not be the best clip, but I'm gonna show you all the body parts and all that stuff. So there's the head. That's a horrible clip to use it. Let's just do the arms now. Um, we can actually put the head. Yeah, it'd probably be better to do it right there, but it's good. Let's do the arm. So you just gotta find the right body parts. So this is the arm bone right there. So there we go. We're gonna change that to screen. We're gonna scale position rotate. We're gonna rotate that arm. And we're just gonna track that on. And then we're gonna put the forearm on after this. This would actually sound really cool with like an x-ray effect as well, like a sound effect. Cool, so that's the arm right there. And then when you start adding more, it sells the effect a lot more. So let's find that forearm right there. There's the forearm, let's do them all at the same time. Or you can stagger them so it looks like it's like, almost like electrocuting through his body or something. We definitely could not include every bone, but we got the major ones for you guys. So we can even scale this up just so they almost touch. Let's see how it's looking. Um, 
let's run it so they're actually going to be electrocuting or like coming on and off at different times so we'll see how that looks if it looks bad we can line them up we might have to re track this one i don't think it's moving that much cool let's play that through yeah it looks weird i might have to retract this one when those are in let's do the hand so we have the hand right here hand skeleton this one we're just gonna plop that down at the end and we're gonna do the same drag this on and if something doesn't look right to scale you can always like stretch it and play with it right there i just turned off uniform scale um you can finesse it just a little bit and i think i'm gonna stretch it just a little bit it's gonna be quick it doesn't matter and it lined up to his fingers a little bit more so i'm just gonna track that on and we just want to keep it rotating a little bit to match with his hand and it's so quick it does not have to be perfect there it is right there obviously they should they actually all should be on at the same time but you guys get the idea you can watch the uh, example that i did in the video i'm not going to go through and do each body part but it takes a while to do but it definitely has a really cool effect compared to how easy this stuff is um where just like these simple little zaps and pops that come onto the video like let's throw one of those on show you guys how easy it is so as soon as he does that let's zap his hands as soon as his hands come together let's make a little zap there we go we're gonna go position scale rotate coming down his hands we'll track that rotate it scale it up boom really cool so another cool thing that we can do with this is we can actually we can actually change the color balance and we can just get it rocking changing color like crazy so that's cool it kind of has a rainbow effect so that's pretty much the basics of glow effects too i hope you guys found this useful um there's a bunch you guys can do with this pack just get inspired watch other videos and you can really create some cool stuff with this pack there's the possibilities are limitless you can combine it with the old pack you can combine it with your own animations it definitely helps save you guys time if you don't have the full pack make sure to get it use promo code sample five off if you already have the sample pack if you guys don't want to buy it make sure to check out the sample pack we have like four samples in there for you guys and you could definitely create some cool stuff with it i appreciate you guys watching and following along with this tutorial drop a comment down below let me know what you guys think about the pack and if you guys have any further questions i'll make sure to respond to you more videos coming in the future more updates to this pack i'm going to be doing videos on those when they drop they're going to be free updates so once you buy the pack you're going to keep getting updates with this pack so we appreciate you guys watching and i'll catch you guys next time thanks